What's up guys? Super Saturday, stand by. Only got $20 in my pocket I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a come up This is fucking awesome I'm here from uh, Truckle Wild TV Today is Saturday Hope everyone's having a really good day uh, My day's actually over already, believe it or not I'm down here on the uh, I-65 corridor um, In Kentucky, just before Tennessee over here Man, there's uh last time I came up through here, I remember there was a lot of traffic and everything like that. And um I ended up taking I think it was 31 South. Um the highway was all sorts of jacked up and uh it was like two two lanes each way, you know, but like, you know, traffic lights and all that stuff. A lot of traffic and everything like that, but I got here, I got plenty of time on my clock. Uh had a great talk with uh Country Time today, man. Uh he sounded uh he sounded real strong on the phone. Um, he is, he, that guy's unbelievable. That guy, he's just preparing for, uh, the, the battle of the century and, uh, his hopes are up. His spirits are up. Uh, he's very humble, very thankful. Everyone's stepping up. He almost feels awkward about, um, people trying to help him, you know? And I basically told him, I say, man, I said, He's not one for taking any kind of handouts, and he feels awkward. Like, he's already thinking, like, he wants to pay people back. And I'm like, bro, people are stepping up to help you because they care. You know, they want to take that worry off your mind. So all you need to do is focus is on this battle and uh, keep it real with God. That's all you need to do. And uh, basically, um, yeah, he sounds positive. He's more worried about about his wife and his, and his family is what it is. And... Uh, He's, uh, he's ready to go, but we're going to hook up on Monday uh, after I deliver. Um, he's going to pick me up. We're going to go grab some lunch. We're going to hang out, and uh, we're going to try to pick him up a little bit, you know, uh, pick his spirits up and stuff, and uh, we're going to have a great time. So it should be jamming. But the journey so far today, uh, it's been a real easy day. I woke up at like 4 a.m., and that uh, Petro over there in Racine, um, they were doing the whole entire thing. So they had a bakery. Uh, awesome coffee, no lie. Uh, they had a little Dunkin' Donuts, but nothing, nothing like on the food wise is open yet. The bakery, of course, is open. They got all sorts of donuts and crap that we shouldn't be eating. So I did grab a donut, like a, a fatty, and uh, I topped off my fuel and just hit the bricks. And then um, Randy called me as the sun was coming up, so it was a good day. So I made it through. I'm down here. Uh, like I said, I'm at this Petro now. Uh, I was gonna grab a shower. Uh, but there's a little bit of a line, but it's all right. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do some reading. And I'm gonna lay down and, uh, still feeling a little bit under the weather, guys. Not, uh, not myself yet, but, um, definitely, uh, trying to, trying to recover. And I, I gotta grab some more of that vitamin C, those gummies and stuff. I gotta do a Walmart run again. But other than that, just, uh, trying to do the next right thing, man. Trying to stay, uh, out of my head, focus on what I'm doing and, uh, just keep moving forward. You know, no matter what, you gotta remember somebody or something or yourself you're gonna fall flat on your face so the idea is you know get knocked down and get pick yourself up and keep going you know you're gonna get knocked down pick yourself up it's just it's inevitable you just got to keep rocking and rolling and keep moving and uh don't let anything slow you down you know because um before you know it then you know things will catch up on you and uh you won't be able to get out so that's why always hit the ground running and do the next right thing you know, forgive, forget, move on. Um, hold no judgment, hold no grudges. You know, fly under the radar. Take care of you. Do you? You know, do the next right thing, and everything comes into uh, comes into play. Um, I kind of caught before. Um, I guess you know a lot of sick people on YouTube land, man. Um, if we can keep every, you know everyone out here on YouTube uh, that's going through these hardships, and uh, you know can't say uh you know without your health you don't have much really really um but if we can keep our prayers up for everyone that's uh going through these hard times right now you know physically uh, you could be physically sick emotionally sick spiritually sick there's so many emotionally sick there could be so many sicknesses or you you can have like things you don't even know about but if we just keep doing the next right thing and, and uh you know pray for others you know i notice there's a thing that we get inside of us called joy and the joy is when you put 
the, the acronym actually means Jehovah, others, yourself. You put God first, you put others, and then you put yourself, you'll get like this inner joy. And uh, yeah, try not to uh, take the bait, you know? You guys see me get dragged through the mud, it don't feel good. It don't feel good at all. So try not to uh, try not to take the bait. Do what you gotta do, stay in your lane, and uh, fly under the radar. Try not to hurt no one, do the next right thing, that's all I can tell you. You know, and it does, it does get better. It does get better, you know? So uh, every day, every day when you wake up, that's a chance and you can work for two bosses the way I see it you know you could work for um, the good people or the bad people it depends on what people you want to be employed for that day so the idea is you know start your days right and I noticed like my days start right uh, as soon as I wake up as soon as I I get spiritually connected start my day uh, get myself ready you know brush the teeth you know wash up change do what I got to do you know and then uh, just doing like one two three one two three one two three it's like a dance over and over again and it's like retraining the brain and uh things get easier and easier and remember forgive is uh to forget you know and because if you don't forgive somebody you're never going to ever be forgiven but if you don't forgive somebody you're just going to constantly stumble and you're going to keep taking that bait over and over and over again so the the best medicine or best advice and i could tell you you know i'm gonna be 45 this year okay uh, come from different walks of uh, life We all do on this platform But straight up uh, The best way to be um, Is to wish someone the best And to truly mean it And if you don't have something really Vital or nice to say Don't say it Because later on you're going to regret it anyways it doesn't make a difference So I, I, I don't like I don't like to uh, I don't like to see bullies But then again When I take the bait I am a bully So it's like total hypocrite stuff so gotta work on that stuff more and more more and more every day so it's like you can't you can't you know build Rome in 24 hours you know so it's it's constant work man and it's not easy work bro who who truly wants to be honest with themselves you know who truly wants to take responsibility for themselves you know people like to uh, lie and deny minimize and justify and that's what we all do so the truth is we got to be sincere to ourselves first and then we could uh, truly um we can make things right around us and that's it just takes time so keep plucking away and uh you know set set your goals you know you, you look at guys like you know like poor randy look at look at what he's going through you know the guy was a healthy flat better you know in shape throwing tarts you know uh work that i wouldn't do you know heavy bulwark you know and he and he loved it he loved that job and he said wow i appreciate you know that that 25 30 minutes of chaining and strapping Flat bedding is no joke, man. I, I tip my hat to them guys, you know. But even, you know, a healthy dude like that, come find out, like, what he's got going on, it's heartbreaking. If you look at, you know, Hensley. Hensley, I, I caught a little bit of his live feed before. Poor dude's going to the hospital. His leg's not healing. Uh, supposedly he's leaking like a faucet, and he doesn't even know what's going to happen with his leg. It's like we keep getting knocked down and kicked and kicked and kicked, but then you got the drug addict on the corner, or, you know, you got people that don't want babies taking their lives and people that want babies that can't have them. It, this world doesn't make sense. And I can't try to make sense of it because then I make myself psycho. So I can't worry about anything else except for myself and staying in my lane. And that's what I'm trying to do because it keeps things uh, more simple for me. And uh, when you keep things simple, it's easier for you to be able to help somebody out. You know, when you help somebody out, when you when when you when someone's reaching out and you can actually lend a hand like i was blessed yesterday to be able to help somebody it makes you feel good it makes you feel real good and to have that camaraderie you know and i understand what people are saying about brotherhood and this and that and i get it i i'm down for the cause there's there isn't i could say concurrently there isn't anyone that if someone needed a favor that i would tell them to go f themselves you know good bad right wrong or indifferent if someone needed something from me i'd help them i really would because um i know at some some point it'll come back and there's that thing there's that juju there's that uh that hindu god called karma that really truly exists and i fully believe that karma does come back to bite us and that's why i you know none of us are perfect but try not to take the bait use my examples of what not to do to get dragged in the mud get kicked in the face you know get kicked down but also take the example try to take the high road uh don't let things bother you and uh 
keep working on yourself and uh, focus on what you're doing, uh, the task at hand, and enjoy what you do, love what you do. And if you don't like what you do, find something else to do. Change the channel. If you don't like it, just change the channel. You know, if you're listening to a song that makes you sad, change the channel. That's all. We, we're in control of our, ourselves. We're not in control of other people, what they're thinking, what they're saying. You know, so we got we to gotta adjust to impress, be as real as we can be, and, and do the next right thing. That's the best advice I can give you from a dude that constantly gets kicked. Constantly. And I kick myself. You know, I constantly make mistakes. So own it. You know, solve it. Figure it out. You know, take action. And remember, that word friend... That word friend is not a noun. It's actually a verb. It means action, to take action. So when you see someone in need, take action. Because I guarantee you the reward on the inside is phenomenal. Is absolutely phenomenal. And if you're doing something to expect a, a thank you out of it, you're going to let yourself down. You know, it's just like when you wave someone into traffic and they don't wave back. You're like, oh, well, screw you. <laughs> no, you, you want to help the person out, let them in. So... You know, you get things rocking and rolling because that's good karma. You know, when you do good things, good things happen. You know, we've talked about this. Good equals good. So the more you do good, the more good things are going to happen. Bad things do happen to good people. But the more you do right, that bad isn't so bad. You know, and uh, it doesn't have to get to a point where you self-destruct and burn everything to the ground. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that today. So that is my Saturday video. Very boring. And I had... I'll tell you about the Gorilla Glue incident tomorrow. I'll tell you what happened with the Gorilla Glue and the cowboy boot. Uh, BOC bought me a uh, Garmin OTR 1000. Awesome GPS, man. Uh, box took care of me, man. And uh, this thing, when I when I set it up in the truck, it kind of jiggled itself free. Like, it wasn't, wasn't in the mount right or whatever. So I tried to pull some trucker trickery over here, and I kicked off my cowboy boot. Let's just say I got done cleaning that that joint up almost an hour and 10 minutes later. <laughs> it did not go good. It did not go good. But we won the war. We won the war. Everything's cool. So no damage. Everything's cool. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to lay it down. We're going to do a little bit of reading, make a couple phone calls. And I think we're going to lay it down for the night. Uh, clock's going to kick off 2, 3 a.m., get up, shower, uh, hit the bricks. I'll be parked tomorrow by like 10, 11 o'clock. I'll be where I need to be, a couple miles from where I need to be. It's a gated facility, so that is going to stink. So I got to fall short. There's the love over, loves over there in uh, Macon, if I remember. It was built not too long ago. Indiana Jack. Jackie had a video up about that. And I think I actually stayed there the one time. That's the loves of the Burger King on the inside, I think. So I'm going to head down to that direction in the morning, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully traffic will not be brutal coming through Tennessee. You know, we know how that 24 corridor is, but uh, it is Sunday, so... The weather is beautiful here. It's uh, sunny and 55 degrees. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Last night, I got to tell you, the truck did well. The truck did well on fuel economy today. Last night, it got down into like the teens, so I, I did run it because I didn't want it to gel up. And uh, no problems. I still averaged uh, 9.2 miles to the gallon, 36,000 in the box, uh, 65 on the pedal, 67 on cruise. So it's still averaging really good fuel economy. So I topped off this morning, and I'm just under three quarters of a tank. And I got another 440 miles to go. So, not a big deal. So, all is well. All right, you ready, Gary Allen? So, for today, always keep God first. Love your wife like it's the first and last date. And everything else will come into play. Truck Wild reporting from outside Tennessee in the Kentucky Corridor by Coach, Coach, Kentucky Coach Corridor. Check you guys tomorrow. Can I pray for you? This prayer is for every trucker or any person that can use it. Today is a great day for you to press through for the breakthrough. The thing about the breakthrough is the first word is break. So you may feel like you're breaking right now, but you're not breaking down, you're breaking through. It's time for you to allow those things that's been holding you back to be broken off of you so that God can take you to the new season for the new things and the new breakthrough that he's going to do for you. So Father God, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you for the breakthrough. Lord, I thank you that we're not breaking down, but Father God, we are breaking through. So Lord, I thank you that what the devil meant to break us with is the very thing that you're going to use to make us. So bless every person that's listening to me today and let them know that you are right there with them through everything. In Jesus name, amen. Love you. You matter.